Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I turned this headboard and footboard into a bench. One, two, three, come on! I started by taking out all the hardware that was already attached to the headboard and then using my tape measure, I measured the approximate width that I wanted my bench to be so that it would be comfortable to sit on big enough and that width ended up being 22 inches from the back of the headboard to the edge of the footboard. I then took a couple 2x6s that were just scrap pieces that I had left over measured those out to the lengths that I wanted. It ended up being 17 inches. This was going to be the pieces that attached to the side of my bench connecting the headboard to the footboard. I took those two pieces over to my drum sander and did a quick little sanding on each side so that it would be a little bit smoother. And then once I had those all sanded, I took those pieces over to my Craig jig and put in four pocket holes on each side of both pieces of wood. I measured one inch down and one inch in on both sides of my headboard and glued and screwed the two side pieces to that board. Then measuring the same distance on the footboard, I attached the headboard to the footboard with the two by sixes. And then I measured the distance across the back of my headboard so that I could cut my 2x2 two two over at the chop saw and attach it to the headboard as another back support for the slats that will be the seating part, sitting part of my bench. I measured the distance from the floor to the top of the footboard so that I knew what distance I needed to measure and put the 2x2 two two attached to the back of the headboard. And then I pre-drilled all of my holes in the 2x2 two two and then took my 2.5 inch long screws and screwed that 2x2 two two into the headboard. So I brought a whole bunch of reclaimed wood from our first home over to the new house and I have had a lot of that left over and decided this would be a great project to use some of that. And you can see here it's pretty rough but it's a beautiful wood. So I took each piece, cut them down to the approximate size that I would need for the slats and then I took all of them and ran it through the drum sander several, several, several times. Once all the pieces were sanded nicely, I took the edge pieces over to my bench and I marked the lines of the corners so that I could take the pieces over to my jigsaw and cut out the edges so that my piece would fit nicely in the corners. And here it is all finished. I think it turned out pretty nicely considering I used all free and leftover materials. Um, where we are self-quarantined right now, I'm unable to go out and get the paint that I would like to finish the project. 
So I will be posting an updated photograph when I am able to go out and get some paint and do a finishing touch on it. But I'm really happy with it so far. Thanks for watching and for the support and we'll see you next time.